Welcome to this video. Uh, let's play with another Sicilian. Um, maybe a dragon variation. This is often just a transposition of moves. Um, so, okay, in this case, he doesn't want to play d4, I guess. Um, now I can play knight c6, and it's not easy for him to play d4. Um, yeah, so this is just a waste of temp. So he played bishop c4, and now bishop e2. Um, so he could have played bishop e2 at once. I don't get uh, the point here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't mind exchanging pieces. So if he wants to take here on c5. Hmm. Pawn on e5 might become weak, so let's attack the pawn with two pieces and the defender we can just exchange very very soon, but uh, not at the moment because then the bishop would attack the pawn on b7. It's still, however, I mean it would work. I take here, he takes back, I take here, if he takes on b7, I just play rook b8, right? And then attacking b2, but this bishop is eyeing on the rook. I think I just castle. There's no need to hurry. Uh, and now he uh, he was afraid of losing this pawn, and so he weakened his position here. Um, yeah, he will likely want, he wants to jump to d6. But I can play play e5 afterwards, so um, my piece, my knight would be good on d5. Let's even force him to, to jump here to d6. Okay, he doesn't do this. So I gain some space, and yeah, let's continue with pressure here on e5. So. Mm. I can't take here at the moment, right? Because he will just take once, I take back, and then he just plays bishop b5 and can take here afterwards. But what I could do maybe later is to play f6. The bishop is also unprotected, but I can't use this at the moment. Um, what about c4 and bishop c5? just to improve the position here of my bishop. And then I threaten to play f6 as well. What I also could try to do is... Okay, what, what's going on here? Bishop, knight to e6. Yeah, I don't want to allow this. Um... So knight is also strong here on c5. The rook doesn't have that many squares. So I win the exchange now. Um, because after rook e3 I can play rook, uh, knight b3. And the bishop is also attacking the rook here. So I'm already in the exchange up. However, the, the rook, as you can see, doesn't have that many squares. So he can just go to e4. I will wait a bit. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, but I don't see a reason why why I shouldn't take. So and then I will try to transfer a knight here to d5, which is very very strong. But the rook, maybe I can improve the position of the rook first. And then double up pieces here. Um, yeah, he has always a threat to mate me here on the back rank, so maybe h6. Just to have 
uh, no threats here on the back rank anymore. Yeah, and here I just uh, keep the the D file under control. Um, hmm. What about just playing rook b1, queen d1, rook a1, queen d1? To, to get rid of the queen, I have an exchange, uh, I mean, I'm an exchange up. Okay, he avoids it, the playing bishop here. Makes sense. Um, this pin might help. He cannot move the knight anyway, so uh, because then there would be a mate on h1. Yeah, this is a uh, strong position for me. Maybe, yeah, okay. A set he could take, okay, but he takes. Yeah, so we have checkmate. Um, yeah, in in this game, I think uh, the the middle game. Yeah, there was. I don't know if there was really a specific theme. I just improved the position of uh, my pieces. If, if I had a back uh, a bad piece, I wanted to make it better. Uh, I fought for the D file, but I think in the opening you can uh, learn something um, because. White just wasted time. He he wanted to push for d4. He could have done it quite uh, at at move three already. He waited, but then he had problems to push for d4 because um, yeah I had this pin. So he needed to move the, the bishop again, and he lost time. I think it would have been better for him to play something like d3 to be a bit slower. Sure, but this was just wasting tempo. So he played bishop c4 and then bishop e2. So I was essentially uh, losing a move, uh, winning a move, white was losing a move, so he had not the advantage of opening the game with white, uh, so to say. So, yeah, in the opening, uh, try to uh, move your pieces not two times or three times, just if it's really necessary. Uh, time is very important. Thanks for watching.